What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John the Liquidator, and today is Pac-12 Media Day, and boy, oh boy, I got a lot of stuff to go over with you guys already this morning. Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Las Vegas. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> So if you guys haven't heard by now, today is the big media day before the start of the 2023 season. None other than Colorado Buffalo's quarterback, Shador Sanders, and one of the best players in the nation, Travis Hunter, is attending the Pac-12 media day. And I finally figured out who's filling in for Coach Prime, and that is none other than Colorado Buffalo's defensive coordinator, Charles Kelly. Now, George, the Pac-12 commissioner, touched bases with a lot of stuff, jumping right into his speech. Now, he opened up by saying, our thoughts are with Coach Prime following his surgery this week. Now, we know Coach Prime was unable to attend this event due to him finishing up some surgeries before the start of the season. Now, George immediately, I mean quick, fast, and in a hurry, pulled up on the Pac-12 media deal, and this is what he had to say. We are not announcing our media rights deal on purpose today because we want the focus to be on football but when asked on a follow-up question he wouldn't confirm if a deal was done or not so guys it looked like georgia and the gang still ain't got this pack 12 meteorites deal done but what stuck out to me more importantly in the opening statements of the pack 12 media day was this statement from pack 12 senior associate commissioner merton hanks now those of you who is not familiar with Merton Hanks. He is Coach Prime, former teammate when he played for the San Francisco 49ers. And, guys, he dropped a bombshell to the world. Let's play the footage. Here's a, a, a I call him a young man because he was my teammate in San Francisco, helped me win a ring uh, in, with San Francisco uh, in, in that respect. And uh, being able to watch him go about his craft uh, uh, every day as far as striving for excellence. Uh, we were able to visit uh, Colorado recently, sat down with Dion, his staff. You'll meet with uh, Coach Kelly, uh, the defense coordinator, uh, at certain points today. You can see the quality of individuals that he's brought into the program. And basically, this is a, I call him a young man. A young man has, has basically has not failed at anything that he's done. And he's always been the guy. And so people who understand being the guy, there's a pressure that comes with being the guy that stays with you and he's been able to achieve all along the way whether it's been as an athlete as a coach as a business individual so i'm excited that he's in the pac-12 uh, uh uh he's going to raise the bar and quite frankly bring out the best in all of our coaches because you know you're competing against a winner on the other side let's make no mistake about that so i'm excited it's, it's going to be a great season looking forward to it so as you guys just heard in that clip there, he letting the world know Coach Prime is a winner, man. If they coming. Dude ain't never failed in nothing in life. You see my ring. He helped me get this ring. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Keep them bells on today, y'all, because I'm telling you, I'm dropping a day. And like always, man, until next time, y'all already know how I'm rocking. Shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. <laughs> You should have seen by now. Coming. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. But we coming. They, they saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.